Hi, good evening. My name's Simon Hater, and tonight we're going to be discussing how to upload a VMX file or ISO file or any other file to the data store within VMware ESXi server using uh, SFTP over SSH. As you can see, I've logged in via the uh, VMware vSphere client and um, the first thing we need to do is enable SSH. So by default, it is actually disabled. If you've already got it enabled, then uh, you can miss this skip, uh, skip this step. So first thing you want to do is make sure you've clicked uh, your ESXi server and not a virtual machine. Then click configuration, find security profile, and then at the top where it says services, click properties. So we want to find SSH, which is there. Click options, and we want to start the SSH. So that's now started, which is fantastic. And now what that enables uh, for us to do is uh, log in via SFTP and upload our file. So there's quite a few clients you can use. Uh, nowadays, most FTP programs will support SFTP uh, over SSH. In this case, I'm going to be using um, Flash FXP, but uh, there are others like WinSCP and so on. So the first thing we want to do is log into our uh, ESXi server. So I'm going to type in the IP address, which is 192.168.164.137. I then need to put the connection type SFTP over SSH. Type in uh, my username and password. Click connect. And as you can see, I'm now logged into uh, the ESXi server and I can see all the files and folders. So we want to locate the data store folder, which is in VMFS. Double click that, double click volume and locate the data store. Now if you have got multiple data stores just locate the one you want to upload to. As you can see I've got uh, Ubuntu test. If I d uh, double click that you can see that I've uploaded the VMX file and the VMDK file. Uh, you don't need all the rest. So uh, for the sake of this video I actually uploaded it earlier so you don't have to sit around and wait for those to copy. So all you do is highlight the files you want double drag them and drop into the folder of your choice. So we've done that, so we need to hop back into um, vSphere and we want to initialize the VMX file. So it's quite straightforward. Click the ESXi server, not the virtual hosts. Click um, summary, locate your data store, right click it, browse data store. And as you can see, we've got Ubuntu test, double click it, Highlight the VMX, right click, add to inventory, click next, and as you can see, we now have um, imported a VMX appliance using SFTP. I hope you find that helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.